Welcome, baby. Hello, this is Danny Campbell for the Lone Star Conference. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. We're here with head football coach here at Texas A&M Commerce, Guy Morris. Coach Morris is in his second season as the Lions head football coach. Coach, as you head into your second season, talk to uh, the fans out there about what they can expect from Lions football as we head into 2010. Well, we think we've got a better football team, obviously. Uh, we hope to pick up right where we left off last year, you know, on a winning note. And uh, I think our kids have worked really good all summer. They prepared themselves very well. We've, we've uh, been very pleased with our progress through uh, the course of two days and uh, our preparation for our opener uh, is, is going really well. And so we're looking for big things, you know. Uh, We've got some young people in the lineup that are making their first starts. They're going to have some big shoes to fill, especially on the defensive side, where we lost some good D linemen and uh, a couple in the secondary that we're going to have to fill those shoes. But uh, I think we've got some capable people. Our offense is almost intact. You know, we lost a couple of tackles, but uh, everybody else is back for the most part. And, uh, you know, I think the key is that our quarterback's back and uh, second year in the system. He's shown a lot of growth and maturity, and, and it's going to lead us to some big things, I really believe. We've got a, a better receiving core. I think our offensive line, we shorted it up a little better. And uh, we need to run the football a little better than we did last year. We've been working on that real hard. So we're anxious to get started to find out exactly where we are, to the, be quite honest with you. Uh, those that listened in yesterday heard our athletic director at Texas a and Commerce, Carlton Cooper, talk about some of the, the most – probably the most substantial renovation here at a and Commerce history in Memorial Stadium. Talk about how you, you feel the, the renovations will also enhance your program, primarily with football especially. Well, you know, we got here for our first season last year, and uh, they dropped a million-dollar locker room in our lap, which was very nice. And so uh, we're very appreciative of that. Uh, we put up a visitor side here on the east side of the stadium, uh, which they haven't had for 50 years. Something like that. So we're excited about that. Uh, we put up new lights on the stadium for night games, which is going to be nice. Uh, we, we've got a $650,000 scoreboard going up. It's supposed to be the largest or second largest in all of Division II football. Uh, you know, big diamond vision in the middle of it. And all these improvements uh, are what recruits are looking for. Uh, they like the glitter and the glamour and that sort of stuff, and we can offer that now. I'm excited about the stadium renovation because I know a lot of the old East Texas people are excited about it. Uh, it'll bring uh, uh, maybe some playoff games to our stadium, some neutral site games between teams to our stadium now because we have a uh, separate side for visitors. We're, there's 3,000 seats. So we hope to fill those game day. Uh, Commerce High plays their games here. I think they're excited about it as well. It's a good venue for them to play in. A lot of excitement. Uh, we've got the largest enrollment, uh, I guess, in history. I know it's the largest freshman class, I think, coming through the door in the history of the university. There's a lot of excitement about that. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a good time to be a student athlete at uh, Texas A&M Commerce. That's all the questions I have for today. Thank you, Coach Morris, and good luck this season. Be sure to check back tomorrow as we talk to head soccer coach Neil Piper.